I thought we fought hard. We just, you know, we couldn't convert on the offensive end. I thought uh, we could have done a better job of attacking uh, the rim as we did in the first in the first quarter. Uh, but as time progressed, I thought our legs kind of left us. Um, and, uh, you know, it's a credit to AC's defense. They did a good job of staying in front of us tonight. Um, not many teams can do that. Do you, think, do you think losing your legs that had anything to do with the quick turnaround from Thursday? It could, but at this point, you know, you gotta you gotta be ready to play when they ask you to play. So, uh, as I said the other day, it's not an ideal situation. Uh, it's not ideal for Arlington Catholic. It's not ideal for us. Uh, you know that you get play a whole season and you prepare a whole season, and then you play on Thursday night and you get a walkthrough to come in for the Songa Center, and then you get a walkthrough to go to the Garden. Um, so that's you know that's probably something that somebody should think about a little bit more. Uh, I know that if I talk to every coach to a person, that probably would be the same same sentiment. But you know that wasn't about that. To, that wasn't about this tonight. Specifically, AC was the better team tonight, and they did a good job of staying in front of us and uh, got those scoring opportunities. You were all over them in the uh, first quarter. I had a 10-point lead at one point. You know, what what did they do to change their tactics? No, I, I just think you know they're a very disciplined team, you know, and they're going to continue to run their stuff and get good looks at the rim, uh, and, and they knock down shots. Good players make plays. So now defensively for them, John, uh, they're playing man-to-man -man defense, and they really held Heather Can. I think she was scoreless in the second half. So what were they doing out there? Defensively? Well, they were they were really paying attention to her, and they were you know sloughing off the, the people on the, the baseline wings. And uh, so they were trying to take the middle away from us and then put, really put pressure on our guards. And we knew it was going to come. You know, uh, you know, obviously our scoring comes from Hannah, Heather, and Audrey. And, uh, you know, they did a good job shutting us down. Not, not many teams do that. And tell me more about how they were able, they attacked your zone defense. And uh, especially, you know, in the second half, they came out while well, you guys were pretty successful in the first half. Yeah, uh, well, we were playing man, you know, in the first half. But we had, it, it, we, we tried to give them some different looks okay. uh, in our matchup. Uh, our matchup zone was was doing a good job. But, you know, when you see it over and over, uh, good players get used to it. And uh, they find holes in the zone. You know, that's why you need to be able to play man in difficult situations. Yeah. And, uh, what do you think about your overall season uh, getting here? You'll be kind of happy to get here. Uh, Not really. <laughs> I'm really happy for Hannah Kane. Yeah. You know, she deserves everything that she gets. You know, she is a classy kid, a great student, a great player. She's the kind of co the kind of player that every coach wants. She is the best player on the North Shore. She's one of the best players in the state, and even more importantly, she's one of the best kids I've ever coached. So I'm really happy for her. Thank you, John. At the uh, you called a timeout with like 10 seconds left, and now after the game, what did you tell the team? What were you talking about with the team? What was your message to them? Well, we we're we're about we're a class act in Boston. So what we do is the way we start is the way we finish. Uh, we're gonna fight you hard. We're gonna clean up our drinks under the under the benches. And we're gonna throw them away, and uh, we're gonna put our stuff on and hold our heads high. And you know, most of the times, go back to work. Unfortunately, tomorrow we won't go back to work. Uh, at the beginning of the season, Hannah and Heather talked about how they wanted to finally get a whole season to play together. Just talk about how they finally got that opportunity and how great that was. You know, I think you know they are very close as sisters. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so the bond is obvious. So I think that was it had to be really enjoyable. I think it's probably a better question to ask them. But you know, it was a pleasure to coach both. Of them. Now you guys had uh, quite the uh, cat and mouse game, uh, in that, especially in the second and third quarters, where kept nipping them like two points, one point. And um, you know, what did they do to keep pulling away? Well, I think we needed to get over the hump there. Yeah. You know, we did. I thought we were if we came out with some energy in the third quarter at the beginning. We might have been able to take the lead and, and then perhaps change the momentum, but we looked a little tired towards the end of the end of the third quarter and the fourth, fourth quarter, and I think uh, you know, that was probably the difference. We didn't go very deep tonight, so uh, that probably had something to do with it.